Well, as I've studied it, einkorn has a lot more of some of the ingredients that are really important for helping our immune systems, helping our bodies. And so I think this is a very good mission. I want to show you this year's wheat field. Take a picture of this. And I, I'd also like to, at the same time, well, let, let's first of all show you this close up. This is the wheat just starting to come up out of the ground. And as you can see, it's starting to grow, it's getting taller, wow. it's dancing in the wind. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful scene. As the, the wheat grows and starts to get mature, it starts to dry out and starts having the tops turn black. And you can see how black this is. The sheath wrapped around the wheat, it's a little container that holds it in the plant, starts becoming black. And that's where it gets the black einkorn name. So let's keep going here. So here we are, comes time to start harvesting the wheat. And there's Deer John, uh, John Deere. Uh, I think it might be Deer John. This is our big monster machine going through and cutting down the wheat. And you can see the bin in that machine is starting to fill up. And now the wheat's being loaded out into a cart that's going to be hauled into the plant. When we get to the plant, we have a brand new machine this year that we're very happy about. It's a machine that cleans the wheat. And one of the problems we've had in the past is if the wheat's a little bit dirty, it doesn't taste nearly as good. So we're pretty excited to have this big monster machine that processes it right as it comes in from the field to make it a lot more clean before it goes on through. Now, it's very hard to get the sheath off the wheat. This is the skin that goes around it. And this is a de-holer. The skin is called the hull. And uh, it's good to protect the seed, but when you're trying to make bread, you don't want it. And so that machine takes the, the hole off for you. Taking the hole off of normal wheat, by the way, is much, much easier than off this ancient einkorn wheat. And, th and that's nice, I guess, if you're trying to commercially produce it. But when you try to plant it, there's a lot of advantages of having that hole on. It keeps the moisture, keeps insects out, and so... If you're trying to grow it naturally, it's a good thing to have. But if you don't have a very, very special machine to dehole it, you have a real problem. The deholer machine that you saw mm -hmm. cleaning the hole off the wheat, we, we had to go all the way to Germany to find one that works really good with einkorn wheat. By the way, einkorn is spelled E-I-N, which in German means one. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, even Agnoin saying, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Ein is one, and corn is spelled K-O-R-N. I think that's how I used to spell it in school. Well, it sounds like that corn. So einkorn means one kernel per, per little package in, in the plant. So it's a special kind of wheat. And that sheath's kind of important. But let's go ahead now. We've got this wheat raised, harvested, cleaned, and then de -holed. And now we have to figure out how we get the wheat to you guys so that you can enjoy it. So uh, we figured if we're going to send out this wheat, we should package it so that it will keep for a long time. And it turns out that if you get a thin piece of plastic, and I don't, I'm off camera here, can you see that? There you go. This is a very thin piece of mylar or plastic that has been coated with a layer of aluminum. And the way it works is the mylar has pores that allow it to breathe and to leak air, oxygen, and water vapor through there. And so they put the aluminum in those holes and it makes it impervious to moisture and air. So if you have a bag sealed like this, then it's going to hold the wheat safe for up to 15 or 20 years. So the idea is, what if we could store this wheat in a way that people could put it under the steps or something and then have available long term? So that's the idea. And I just happen to have one of these blocks of, uh, of wheat. It's in a mylar bag. We have a little mold that we hold it in. We stick the bag in, and then we seal it up. 
melt it close, and then we pull all of the air out of here. So it's, it's just as hard as a brick because it's all compressed by air pressure. And then this whole thing is put into a box. And we made our mold so that it fix a bo fits a box that the U.S. Post Office has. They say anything that will fit in that box, they will ship to any place in the United States for a very low price. So that was the way we could get it anywhere we need to go. See how clever we're being? <laughs> okay. Scientific. So this is a bulk mm -hmm. bag. Now this thing uh, weighs 20 pounds. So it's really tightly compacted, but it's 20 pounds of wheat. So that would be a really nice bulk bag. We also know that a lot of people want to experiment with it. So we have this little two pound box. And the two pound box isn't packed for 20 years. It's just in a clear plastic bag, so it's for use right away. But this is enough wheat to make five or maybe even six loaves of bread. And for those of you that don't know what a, life of bread, a loaf of bread is, I just have to there have... Are, that's how the questions are coming in. This einkorn bread is, is really, really wonderful. I now eat this bread every morning. It's a staple for me. And I, I believe it helps me be very healthy. This kind of wheat, unlike some of the modern ones, has a lot of fiber, has a lot of other things that are, are really impressive.